Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. This one is the sick uh, stag. When the stag is... A male deer. This stag is sick. He falls ill. But he was like a big... He was a big... Everybody in the forest Every, knew yeah, him. Everyone loved him. And was him. like... They respected him. And they were like, this guy, that's the guy. He's, he's the man of the forest. The stag was loved by everyone. And then one day he sick. got really sick and he fell down in this patch of grass. It's like, yeah. This tall patch of grass. And, that could either and be he a, couldn't move. He was just basically laid down... To die. Or hopefully get better, but he was just so sick he couldn't move. Maybe he got food poisoning. He was like, I don't feel like I'm going to die. He lays down by this big, bountiful patch of grass. Now he's just there, uh, not able to eat any of it. He doesn't have the appetite. Yeah, and then a bird flies by, and the bird sees him. And the bird goes and tells all the bird's friends and all the other friends. And then all of a sudden, everyone in the forest knows that the stag is sick, and so they go visit him. He's like in the hospital almost. Yeah. So the whole animal kingdom, maybe he just had like a oh. few, like friends, 15 like, friends. Yeah, they're like, they're sad, so they're going to go visit him. And while they were there seeing him, he's really boring, and they get bored, so they start eating the grass. The grass is there. He's not going to have it, so let's go ahead and just take a few bites. Sometimes they don't want that that food that they uh-huh. were offered, so you're like, I'll... If you're gonna, if you're not gonna eat this, I'm gonna go ahead and have that. Yeah, he's too sick. Is that? I guess you know you can have it. I'm not feeling too hot. So they're eating all of the uh, the grass around him to the point where there is no grass. He gets better, and there's no food around him. He was so weak because he was so hungry that he couldn't move. So he dies of starvation, not of sickness. We close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.